What's going on, everybody? Welcome into Front Yard Fantasy. Today, we are talking late round, deep dynasty stashes. And for this, you know, we're looking at DLF's ADP. We're looking at guys only outside of the top 200 picks. Basically, they're free, right? If you want to take a chance, you should always be able to grab these guys in your dynasty drafts. Now, right, we're not talking must start players, guys that you're going to be pumped to own no matter what, and they're they're locked in stars. No, this is far from it, right? Three guys that could be great in the NFL, could be average, could also bust out and not be in the NFL after this season. But again, there's a reason they're going, you know, 200 picks into super flex drafts, right? That's, there's a clear reason they're down here and available at this type of ADP. So before we jump into them, again, if you like what we're doing at FYF, like the video, subscribe, questions, comments, drop it all down below. Our first guy here is running back out of Michigan, rookie running back, Hassan Haskins. And if you're not familiar with him, right, fourth round pick at Tennessee, you know, just had 1,300 yards in his final season at Michigan and is now looking to be the handcuff to Derrick Henry. And the reason I care about that is we just saw what Deonta Foreman did in limited work, you know, once Henry went out and he kind of won over that rushing job over Dontrell Hilliard, that's what Hassan Haskins can be, right? Again, is he locked in to ever even be a starting running back in the NFL? No, absolutely not. However, as a handcuff, he's one of the more interesting pieces, right? Again, he's obviously shown he is a good, solid rusher. He's not anything prolific. There's a reason he's a fourth round draft pick. But should Derrick Henry go down again, right? Coming off of an injury, did not look great, you know, when he did come back almost too quickly in the playoffs. Who knows what lies ahead for Derrick Henry? Should something happen, Hassan Haskins is a very viable handcuff. And that's what you're looking for this late in drafts, right? You're looking for guys that could give you a week or two, you know, either their rookie year, their second season in the NFL, if injuries arise. These are the kind of late round guys I'm happy to grab up. I'd rather have you know Hassan Haskins, one of the unknowns, over players we know stink, like Mike Davis or you know Trey Sermon. We've seen them. We know what they can do. I'll take the dart throw in Hassan Haskins, right? And again, at his ADP of 214 overall, RB67, the cost to enter is, I mean, it's zero. It's free. So take a chance on a guy that could step into a big workload as a handcuff and is not being priced that way. Now, again, he's not going to get the full workload. Dontra Hilliard's still going to take the passing. I think that's the expectation. But still, the running back, the, the rusher in that Tennessee offense has value. We've seen it. It would basically, with Deonta Foreman producing really solid RB2 numbers for a significant stretch of the season. Should something happen, Hassan Haskins very much has that in his range of outcomes. And again, at 214 overall, you may as well take the dart throw. Speaking of dart throws, which is obviously what the next two guys also are, uh, we have Paris Campbell. Right now, off the board, wide receiver 79, 202 overall. So just makes the cut for what I like to consider a deep league dynasty stash. He's played 15 games in three seasons. The injury stuff is just unfortunate. It has been one thing after the other. Every time he has looked to be somewhat healthy, an injury pops up, he's back out, and now it's year four. <laughs> he was a second round pick three years ago. Again, it was 2020, week one, he had nine targets. We all got pumped. We all got excited, right? The volume for this low average depth of target player coming out of the slot, the gadget guy, it was going to be there, especially with Phillip Rivers, right? A guy that loved to just dink and dunk his way down the field, and then he got hurt. That was the last time we saw him fully healthy. Last season, in and out of the lineup early until he was eventually out for the season again. It's just been tough sledding. But the thing is, Paris Campbell is fast as hell. We know what he's going to produce. He's going to operate around the line of scrimmage. And with Matt Ryan and an offensive line that wasn't, you know, a great pass blocking team last year, that's going to carry value. Now, again, he's not going to beat out uh, Michael Pittman. He is the clear cut one there. And he's going to be fighting for to be second in targets with Naheem Hines and Alec Pierce, right, the new rookie. But for now, he is the wide receiver too. On an up-and-coming offense, 
I'll call it up and coming, let's say improved, an improved offense with Matt Ryan this year, it's going to be interesting. He can carry flex value. And really, I want him on my team right now to see where he lands the following season. I mean, honestly, I could see him landing with the Patriots and basically operating the slot role. And, you know, maybe there's value in that, you know, in a couple of years. But right now, Paris Campbell is one of those hope and pray type of guys you're going to draft. He's been getting camp hype. Yeah, not a sure thing to stay healthy, not a sure thing to produce. But the draft pedigree is there. We've never seen him fully healthy. Maybe this is the year he sticks it out and we get 16, 17 games of Paris Campbell and we finally see why the Colts were willing to take him in the second round three years ago now. So again, a dart throw, but I think one that is worth at least being on the end of your bench in Dynasty Leagues. And to close us out, we have one more rookie. Uh, Actually, I just kind of talked about the Patriots, so it makes sense to tie it in here. It is Tyquan Thornton, the second round pick out of Baylor that everybody was super confused about. (laughs) Right now, he is going at 94th, or wide receiver 94, 251st overall. So again, the latest of the three guys here, a true dart throw. Bill Belichick objectively has a bad uh, track record of drafting wide receivers. We've seen that. Maybe Tyquan Thornton's different, right? Again, they, they are looking for a speed. They are looking for dynamic playmakers on the outside. I don't know if Thornton necessarily fits the dynamic piece, but he certainly has the speed to go deep and it, you know can be that deep threat in an offense that is looking to stretch the field with Mac Jones in year two. Again, not a guarantee. I, I'm going to keep saying that because none of these guys are guarantees. I'm not saying go and trade a second round pick for any of these players. They are third rounders in your rookie drafts, in, you know, maybe future third rounders if you're trading for them for this season. That's all you should be giving up to get any of these guys. But what Tyquan Thornton brings is, like I said, that missing element the Patriots did not have last year. I would not be shocked if he is the wide receiver two on this team by the end of the season, or he's completely buried and we never hear from him again. Those are the range of outcomes. I don't think he ends up being the one this year long term. I don't know if he gets there either. Again, the Patriots saw something they liked enough to take him in the second round. There could be something there. Obviously, Bill Belichick doesn't have the track record and Nikhil Harry and basically every other wide receiver bust he's drafted early in the last decade. But still, Tyquan Thornton, second round pick, wide receiver 94. He doesn't have to do a whole lot to beat that. So even if he flashes a little bit, you should gain some value in Dynasty. And that's what it's about. You're just playing the stock market. Whether he ends up as a superstar or even a consistent contributor, that's up in the air. As long as he gains value, he is a worthy dynasty stash at the end of your bench. All right, guys, that is all we have for you. Again, if you like what we're doing, like the video, subscribe, questions, comments, drop it all below. Check us out on Twitter, hit notifications, do all that good stuff. As always, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.